Cancer, the Titanic, you know, the biggest thing you understand in life is that a lot of things are unfair. The biggest thing that's unfair in life is cancer. I've seen it all. I've seen it all happen around me. It's a very sensitive topic, but the biggest thing is what you gain from it. You know, the a lot of times you see the, the insides and the outs of what it does to people, what it does to people around you. Um, I always speak on my behalf and my experience personally with it happening around me. I could never speak on different people's experiences. They could really come to me and say, this was how it affected me. I don't appreciate how you talk about it. That's your own opinion and you know, you're very entitled to that because that's the way you've perceived something and I can't change that. You know, with me, I always speak on my behalf and my experience with it because it is something serious and something that obviously needs to be brought to light a lot of the time. But very uncomfortable, right? Let's just let's speak about this piece in terms of what it stands for, you know. As you see, the drawing is very intricate, it's very in-depth. It's for a reason, I don't just do a lot of different things that uh, match up and look nice and I do this line. It's, it's trying to show how complex the situation is, right? As a kid, right? This is really from the perspective of me being a kid and seeing a lot of this stuff happen because when you do see it happen as a kid, the biggest thing at your your mind and your mind is what's going on, why is it happening, and what do you do to deserve that? I mean, a lot of people, even today, I met someone who obviously had had cancer. They've beaten it, and they're all better. And their outlook on life is so positive. They're very happy. He's very um, the person's very happy, very energetic, and like appreciates life a lot more than you would expect if that hadn't happened but it really 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 plays an interesting game in our lives and an interesting game in your life if, you, if you've experienced it because there's so many factors mentally physically that change in a person a lot of things you can't change and that's the reason why it's called titanic because the titanic left off with the best the best intentions in life you know set off was born created in the docks you, this Titanic was supposed to be the best thing that's happened in the world, best cruise ship. Midway through, the iceberg, iceberg cancer, hits and then everything else starts falling down. Things start pushing, pulling, everyone starts falling to the water. You're just, your whole life is off track. It's not working completely. And it's not the best thing to hap happen to anyone, you know. It's very hard to understand because essentially it will always happen to people that inevitably don't deserve it and there's no one that does deserve it and it's very very hard to go about you know a lot of strings will be pulled a lot of family members kind of like come together go apart it's not the best thing it's a very very touchy subject you know, even now I'm trying to dance around in the best way possible because I understand how detrimental it can be. You know, the sadness that comes with it, the the silence that's created after it's it's come in, it's done its job. A lot of musicians have already made their songs about it. I don't know if you've heard Stromae, Stromae's um, music, not music, a song called "It's It's Cancer." It's something about cancer, but he really does speak about how it starts creeping up on you, starts crawling, you know, it starts, it, it, it makes his head known. And one of the biggest things that I was told today was that the actual fact of it being cancer, right, is already hard enough, but the way we perceive it is very important because like the guy said, um, when he got it, he obviously was shocked, his family was shocked and the biggest thing he said is that he wanted his uh, his family to be his kids to kind of like um, be okay with it not be scared by it and just be like okay this is how it works this is how we help our father this is how we create life um, and carry on life with him without making it so detrimental and so bad and you know he said at the end of the experience of in the six weeks of chemo and stuff like that he he really appreciated the way his family had come together and work with him 
because that was the biggest thing he could find and the biggest thing he, he could the biggest thing he found was useful and very happy you know in a very sad very sad element of life it's confusing it's big it's it's a lot it's a different feel you know it's it's something that stays in the back of your mind but it's something you never want to bring to the front of your mind because you understand how many bad memories are there and with this piece really coming to grips with why you know why the complexity you know why if you look at the at the end of the, the piece you find that there's a little boy sitting right a three tiny boy like really really small if you see at the bottom there and he's looking up at this whole contraption and this whole amalgamation of mess and when you have this in your house it's not something to be like oh gosh gosh cats 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 no it's supposed to be an appreciation you know of what it does to people behind the scenes you know not just the actual title of it but what you deal with outside and after and the different roots and the the different things you have to try to fix with it uh, it's not something I would talk about for the whole day something that's just a part of me that would need to be acknowledged in terms of artwork and when you do have this artwork in your house really keep it as a thinking piece that your fight is never over you may think it's over but you have to keep on fighting you know easier said than done but you really need to fight you know you need to push harder I say this like I'm talking to myself because I understand the dynamics of the two is never too straightforward and very hard you know I hope everything I've said is never taken out of context I have experienced it right firsthand and it's not the best thing but the appreciation of fight the appreciation of life the appreciation of happiness and loved ones is very 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 important it's the forefront of this piece and anyone that does get it I hope you you kind of appreciate it and understand where it's coming from me speaking about it rather than it just being there people that walk into your house and see it see what they think see how they they interpret it because it's very it's very deep you know it's one of those things where you can never just sit forward and be like whoa that's this that's this it's it's quite serious but light at the same time I really focused on not expanding to the edges of the canvas because I wanted to just keep it very centered um, really went for big contraption feel it's a growth like the cancer soul is it grows and gets worse and sometimes you just watch it sometimes you look at this piece and you will watch every single element flow and go and flow and go and you learn why it's important to understand why it's important to really take a positive angle always and just enjoy it so a shorter one today hope you guys enjoyed the piece make sure you like share subscribe the piece is very on offer right if you want to get this piece make sure you get it it's a one of one i will do prints of it afterwards but the people that need to get this original piece very sentimental to me even me letting it go is a bit of a thing but i know it will find a good home and i know the person that gets it will really appreciate it hope it looks good in your house if you have it send a picture to me and we will appreciate it you know our whole community uh, to those that have lost their loved ones to cancer um, my condolences will always be with you and you need to just stay strong um, easier said than done easier said than done always but here's another evening that we've spoken about art we've spoken about topics some people don't want to talk about but it's there you know it will all eventually come out and always look for the best in the situation have a sick day keep on focusing on your dreams may I look down now keep on looking forward things will get better and easier said than done have a sick day guys it's been your boy Mastro, and i'm going to say catch you in the next one